Imagine standing on top of a mountain on a clear night and looking up at the stars above. The sky, glittering with glittering lights, seemed infinite and immovable. Each star represents a distant sun, which may be associated with planets, moons and unknown worlds. But what we see with our eyes is only a fraction of the world. In addition to this, there are billions of stars, each containing billions of stars. The universe stretches beyond our imaginations and seems to hold so many great and ancient secrets that we can only scratch the surface of our consciousness. This is a story of discovery, knowledge and the human effort to discover the mysteries of the universe. What is beyond our understanding? How was the world created and where did it take us? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, a remarkable feat, opened a new chapter in human understanding of the universe, providing views of outer space and the first moments after the Big Bang. But for every answer there are more questions. In the vastness of the universe, we are beginning to understand our place in the grand scheme of things. Neil deGrasse Tyson rightly said, the world is not as big as we think, but on most scales, it is bigger than we think. This profound story captures the essence of our quest, a journey that pushes the boundaries of human knowledge, forces us to rethink old paradigms, and challenges our true understanding. Dot at the heart of our journey lies the question, what is the end of the world? In the past, people believed that the world would end just on the horizon. Today, powerful telescopes can look into space and reveal mysteries that were once thought impossible. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, with its revolutionary technology, will uncover the mysteries of the universe, capture ancient galaxies and reveal features we have never seen before. But even with this amazing device, we are still wondering, is there a special place in the world or is it infinite? And what if the end of our world is just the threshold of another different world? Since the earliest days of mankind, humans have sought to understand the boundaries of their world. In ancient times, explorers believed that beyond the horizon, there was a dangerous, unknown place that the Earth would forget. Today, our vision has expanded. We don't wonder if the Earth is flat, but we question the size, scope and limitations of the universe. The advent of telescopes in the 17th century changed our understanding of the world. Astronomers like Galileo and Hubble opened windows to distant worlds, but even now, with all our technology, we're still searching for the final frontier of space. The James Webb Space Telescope represents a major human breakthrough in this endeavor. Designed to look further and deeper into space's past, JWST will take images of distant celestial bodies and ancient galaxies that formed billions of years ago. However, the question of whether the world has sides is still unresolved. As Neil deGrasse Tyson says, the problem is not the world itself, but our limited knowledge. We use only a few tools and concepts. With telescopes like JWST, we can observe objects up to 46.5 billion light-years away, representing a universe about 93 billion light-years across. But even considering the great opportunities, there is no end in sight. The vastness of stars, galaxies and phenomena is beyond our imagination. If we were to explore a fraction of this known universe, it would take thousands of years. And if this universe is only part of a larger world, where there are many other worlds that exist before humans? These are questions that continue to trouble astronomers and physicists in their search for clues to the true phenomenon. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the first world. Contrary to expectations, the telescope has discovered galaxies that are very old and formed, indicating a much more complex history of the universe than previously thought. These findings challenge our current theories of the formation and growth of galaxies, forcing scientists to rethink their models of cosmic evolution. One of the most important discoveries made by JWST was the identification of a large galaxy cluster that formed when such structures should not have existed. These early galaxies, only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, have been formed and appear to have evolved much more than we thought. This has led scientists to question the timeline we use to describe the evolution of the universe and the formation of large-scale planetary structures. 
Not only has JWST revealed galaxies and clusters since the dawn of the universe, it has also discovered quasar-like structures, extremely bright, energetic regions around supermassive black holes. Found at the center of young galaxies, these quasars release enormous amounts of energy and are key to understanding how black holes play a role in galaxy formation. The discovery of these structures early in the universe's history suggests that black holes and galaxies may have evolved in ways that are incomprehensible to us today. Finding the spatial boundaries of the universe is a huge challenge that is complicated by the nature of light and time. When we look at distant objects, the light from those objects has traveled billions of years to reach us, meaning we are always looking back. The more we look, the harder we see the light. With the James Webb Space Telescope, we can observe light from 13 billion years ago, giving us an unprecedented view of the early universe. However, this historical perspective complicates our efforts to define a spatial domain. As the universe expands, space also expands, meaning that things that were close to us are now very far away. This constant expansion makes it difficult to add fixed edges. Also, the farther away we see, the longer and redder the moon becomes, the harder it is to see. One of the wonders of the universe is that it never ends. If the universe continues to expand forever, it may not have a surface in the traditional sense. Instead, the world can be infinite, without boundaries or limitations. Or, as some scientists think, the world is finite, not final, like the eyes of a creator. The discoveries made by JWST are forcing scientists to rethink how we understand the universe. In the past, people have thought about defined boundaries and clear categories, concepts that help us understand the world around us. We are used to thinking that space has boundaries, like the surface of the Earth, that we can measure and explore. However, data from the JWST challenge these assumptions, suggesting that the universe may not fit within these limits. One of the most important discoveries of JWST is the discovery of ancient, fully formed galaxies and massive quasars, structures that, according to previous models, did not exist at the beginning of history. Of the world. These findings indicate that our current understanding of the galaxy's timeline and structure may be incomplete or incorrect. As a result, scientists are beginning to explore whether the universe is infinite or more complex than the finite model we've used before. The discovery of quasars and massive galaxies in the early universe has challenged previous theories of cosmic evolution. A quasar is a very bright and energetic region surrounding a supermassive black hole. These objects are so powerful that they exceed the energy of all galaxies, and are believed to play an important role in the formation and growth of galaxies. JWST's discovery of a quasar at the center of a young galaxy suggests that there is much more structure formed earlier than previously thought. The discovery suggests that black holes have grown together with galaxies that have yet to be fully illuminated. In the past, scientists believed that galaxies formed first, and that black holes evolved over time. However, the JWST observations suggest that the relationship between black holes and galaxies is much more intimate, and that the two have evolved together since the earliest times of the universe's history. One of the wonders of life is looking at things far away, looking back. The light from distant stars and stars takes millions or even billions of years to reach us, which means that when we look at them, we see them in the past. This ability to look back is one of our most powerful tools for understanding the evolution of life. JWST has allowed scientists to observe the moon from 13 billion years away, and we can see what a small planet looks like. This historical observation has provided a wealth of data on the phenomena and processes that governed the early universe, helping scientists to gather a picture of the nature of galaxies, stars and black holes. But looking back is another challenge. In hindsight, distant objects are spread out by the expansion of the universe. This phenomenon, known as redshift, makes it difficult to see light from very distant objects. However, JWST's advanced technology is helping scientists overcome this challenge, allowing them to see the world as it was billions of years ago. 
In addition to individual galaxies and stars, the universe is organized into a large, interconnected structure called the cosmic web. This network consists of strings of galaxies and dark matter that stretch across the universe, connecting galaxy clusters like a spider's web. JWST has provided an unprecedented view of this large-scale structure, revealing the complex and intricate web that connects the universe. The discovery of the World Wide Web changed our understanding of the structure of the world on a large scale. Far from being a random collection of galaxies, the universe is a highly organized and interconnected system, with galaxies, stars and dark matter interacting in ways we only know. The cosmic web also raises questions about the nature of dark matter and dark energy, two mysterious forces that make up most of the universe's mass. Although we cannot directly observe dark matter or dark energy, their existence can be determined from their effects on visible matter. JWST's observations of the cosmic web will help scientists better understand how these invisible forces played a role in shaping the universe.